Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. And today I'm filming a video about how I'm going to clean the sticky and peeling pocket inside my LV Sack Friedland. So if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a video. So let's get into it, shall we? So I just unboxed this bag. This is my vintage LV Sack Friedland in the Kenyan fawn color. And I find this to be pretty good condition, particularly on the outside and on the inside as well, except for this sticky peeling interior pocket. So you can see that there's like black and tarry and also I don't really want to touch it because then, yeah, that's sticky. I felt stickier, but it's definitely a bit tacky to touch and it will be it's going to leave some dark residues. So I'm going to use a few different methods today, just seeing how I go. So one method would be just to use sticky tape to stick to that lining and rip it off like I'm waxing the lining out of it. And then for some really tarry, stubborn bits, I'm going to be using orange oil, which you can just find at the supermarket. So this helps to dissolve sticky residue. And it gives it a nice orange scent as well. And I'll be using that in conjunction with paper towels. So let's get into it. So first I'm going to try the sticky tape method. And I've got a garbage bag ready. I've taken off my rings. I'm going to open the bag up. I'm just going to do a test of this. Of tape first just to see how well or not well it's going to pull some of that residue off. So previously I used to always use the orange oil so I started reading about the tape method. Um, the tape method works better for dry peel and I tried the tape method for the first time on my posh at home and I've only tried it once so far so this is going to be my second time trying it and this is not truly just a dry peel um, this is a bit of a sticky one too so all I'm going to do is try to try to arch that open and I'm just going to place a piece of tape in there, pat it down okay and then yep. Okay, so not that much came off. So maybe I'm not going to do that method. Let's try the orange oil method. Paper towel. Soak it in orange oil. You have to be careful with orange oil because it can remove the color off things. So I've got to make sure I don't touch the leather. I'm just going to press that against. Orange oil is best used if you press it against the sticky residue for a little bit first before you start rubbing. If you start rubbing straight away it hasn't had time to start dissolving it yet. So you can see that black tiriness starting to come off. Okay, I'm going to go back to the sticky tape method and try that again. I do find the sticky tape method can be a little bit less messy. I'm going to try a different section of the pocket now. I'm going to go a little bit deeper in. Where it has more of the original lining that's sticky. Maybe I just did a bad spot where some of that lining already peeled off. 
just going to press that down. Okay, so there's some of that lining that's come off. So you can see that's the brown color of the lining there and the other side shows those tarry bits. So I might keep going with the sticky tape method. So you see what I mean by that black tariness in the residue? You might want to wear gloves when doing it because your hands start to get really dirty. It's really important to go right into the corners as well. This corner is hard to get into because it the zipper stops the gusset from opening at the top. Look at that, black and tarry. So if you accidentally get any stains on the inside of the bag, just quickly wipe it off. And that includes from the back of the hands too. As you can see, this is a time consuming and laborious task. And so from what I noticed is that the sticky tape method wasn't working as well for the sticky lining as it was for the dry peeling lining. So that's why I've decided to go back to the orange oil. I 
and it just doesn't seem to be getting any lighter in colour yet. It's still really black and tarry. Did you get any staining? Like what I've got here. Just quickly wipe it off. So it doesn't stick to the leather. So you make sure you thoroughly clean off any of this sticky black tariness if it touches another part of your bag before it sets and dries because you don't want any permanent staining I'm just going in with a wet wipe now still coming up pretty black so the whole inside of the pocket looks this blackish greyish color now and that's just from that back of the lining so it's still not clean yet So you got to pay attention to the creases, so it's really hard to clean it out properly. The creases in the corners, because the areas are so tight it's hard to get your hands in there and really clean it out. So it's still really black and tarry. And my hands are still getting stained. So we've made progress, most of the lining is off now, so it's just a matter of continually going until you're happy with the amount of black that has come off, or you're satisfied that you can put your things in there without it staining your items. Okay, so this is an update from the next day of cleaning my handbag, sticky lining pocket. So I let the pocket dry overnight, so when I stopped cleaning it, it was still producing that tarry black colour on the tissue. But I could see that there wasn't any of that brown color of the original lining left in there. So what I did was, even though there was still black sticky tar on the tissue, I'd stopped anyway and I let it dry overnight. And so I'm going to stick my hand in there and we're going to see if any black tariness comes out of my hand. So my hand looks pretty clean. It feels pretty dry in there now. So you don't have to keep cleaning until there's no black color on the tissue because it will dry it's just a matter of just making sure that when your hand or your items go back in there that it doesn't leave any residue on your hand or your items and that's a good test to see if you need to keep going or not so I'm just digging my hand into the corners okay now it's looking pretty good so you don't have to keep cleaning all the way until there's nothing left in there so I hope you've enjoyed that video so thanks for going through this with me. Have a nice day.